welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and this video is actually a special haul video of cross-stitching supplies that I got from my friend Jessie and I'm also going to include some from the crossstitchingsupplies.com website as well because if you don't know I live in Ireland and it's extremely difficult for me to get things <laughs> So my friend Jessie, who is mislaid pages on YouTube, and she has an Instagram, and she has an Etsy shop and everything, she is very kind enough to get all of my things to her address and then send them in a big old box to me. I pay shipping, of course, but um, just to save on the overall shipping costs of everything. So with that introduction, welcome. I hope you're ready for a lot of haul. I need to fix my feathers. They have gone all over the place. <laughs> so I ordered some fabrics from crossstitchingsupplies.com because I am planning on starting something new. Ooh, there's a coupon and everything. Oh, how sweet. Thank you very much. So you can see their, their name right there, crossstitching supplies. Now, the idea was to start stitching a pattern called, oh boy, it's called Gathering Berries. That's the name of it. I almost forgot that for a second. And so I could not find the original picture of this plus that it called for. So, <laughs> so I ordered all of these. <laughs> So we've got doubloon, vintage country mocha, haunted, and ale. And I figured that I would test it out by trying the floss that I ordered that I intend to use for the pattern and see which fabric it looks the best on. I think it's going to be doubloon. I was told that vintage country mocha or doubloon is closest to the one that's called for in the pattern it's also a secondary um choice on the pattern itself so maybe you guys can help me out let's take them out of the bags real quick okay so i think i clearly looked at the wrong size for this one <laughs> This is ale. Uh, it says it's an 8 by 12. I, I must have just thrown it in there because, but that's not going to work for this, even though it's a really nice kind of crusty, um, very old looking, lovely fabric. That's gorgeous. Um, this is an 8 by 12 piece of 28 count ale, but that's not going to work. So we have two 13, no, this is Vintage Country Mocha, and this is Doubloon. Uh, they are slightly different sizes. I think you might be able to tell if I stack them. Uh, the Doubloon is a 12 by 17. The Vintage Country Mocha is 13 by 17. But, I mean, they're beautiful, but this one has a lot of modeling in it, and this one doesn't. I'll pop them over. Oh, oh, I had it on the wrong side. Is that a thing with Picture This Plus? Weird. Do you see that? Huh. Okay. Well, never mind. I take back what I said. <laughs> okay. Um, so, help me decide. What do you think? Should I do it with a doubloon or vintage country mocha? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I think. Hmm. I'm leaning towards doubloon though. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Okay, so those are the choices for the gathering berries. Goodness, what's wrong with my mind? I, I just ate, so I'm probably just kind of like, <laughs> anybody else get like that after you've eaten something? Ah, yes. I was near hanger and then I was like, oh no, I better eat something. Now I'm going to have to find another way to store those. I don't like to keep them in bags, but that is a nice touch to have that on there. The other piece of fabric is 28 count haunted, which this is a much bigger piece. This is a 17 by 26 and I got it in such a large size because I knew that I really wanted to do something with it. This 
is so pretty. It's actually a bit more green. It's casting gray. Oh, if I move it, can you see it? If I move it fast, you can see that it's more green. That's a lovely, lovely color. Um, I don't know why it's blowing out. It's kind of like a dark turquoise. Oh, it's really pretty. Um, I wish you could see the true color of it. It's it, Just think more blue and green. I wish I could get it to work. I'm so sorry. If I can, I'll try to put in a picture here. But if it's not coming up on camera and it's just one of those fabrics that doesn't work, <laughs> will it work if I put something... Like it briefly changes color. I think you can see, or you could see that. But anyway. Okay, so those are some of my Picture This Plus fabrics from CrossStitchSupplies.com. CrossStitchingSupplies.com. Oh my gosh. And now we're going to get into this massive box. So I hope you're ready. Um, I have been collecting these things for a long time. So I imagine that this could go on for a long time. Um, but I hope that you enjoy. Oh my gosh, you really, really packed it. Look. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start... Should I just dump it? Would that bother bother you? I think it might bother you. Okay, we'll just go from the top down. So this is from Jessie's shop. That's her logo, mislaid pages. Super cute. Love it. And these are my Dinky Dye Silks of the Month. Ooh, and a needle minder. So Dinky Dyes collect the cat catalog. We have July. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this one. July. We have August. Ooh, look at that black. Look at those fun colors. That one kind of reminds me of like a clown or something. And September. Ooh, these are very pretty. I like those a lot. And then these are the brand new colors of 2020. I just went ahead and bought this too from her. So pretty. I love how she's put them into the envelopes and she has these labels. Let me show you how I'm organizing them. My friend Mrs. Crochet and Coffee gave this to me as a birthday present. This is a creative options tote and an organizer. So what I've been doing is I've been putting the sticker on the front. I'll show you here if I can get it off nicely. It won't happen because I'm on camera. Yeah, no, won't happen. <laughs> I'll have to wait. And then when I open this up, you can take out the trays. And I'm organizing them into each tray. So I'm just kind of keeping them together by based on when I got them. Um, so I've got some of my first ones here. There's Acacia. I use that in the wand for my Harry Potter stitch along. These are such beautiful dinky dye colors. So that's how I've been storing my dinky dyes until I get like a place where I can, I have an organizer on the way where I'll have them out so that everybody can see them because they are so pretty. So I hope you can see, <laughs> I have so many months worth now. Um, these are gorgeous. July, August, September, and 2020. These are just gorgeous. I love this one. If I were a dinky dye color, I'd be that black, gray, and purple. <laughs> those, those are my colors. Wow. So nice. So if you're interested, a uh, small plug, she has an Etsy shop, mislaidpages.etsy.com, where she sells the Silk of the Month Club to collect the catalog. And also she has lots of needle minders and stitching patterns which I will show you. If, if they're in this one, then I will show you them. So here's her business card. Very cool, she did that. <laughs> and a little thank you on the back. So I got my um, Pride Month needle minder. A little bit late, 
for me, but that's because I asked her not to send the box yet. <laughs> I wanted the box to be as full as possible. And look at this little witch. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. Look at that. That's so adorable. Super cute. Okay, thank you very much, Jesse, for those. Those are those are amazing. I'm going to put them away and I'll be right back. Okay, let's keep going. So what's next? Bags. Dark Queen. Color Street. She's got this so organized. Thank you so much, Jesse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Ugh, that's sealed very well. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! Okay. That to the side. <gasps> I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, let me just move that a little bit further away. So here we have Under the Sea Fabrics in Bewitched. This is for the Dark Queen of the Sea stitch along. Guys, I'm so excited. I didn't think I'd get this today. Today is the first day. Okay, today as I'm filming is Monday, the 1st of September. And I am so excited because the pattern just dropped today. <gasps> And it's opalescent. <laughs> I forgot that I got opalescent. This is this is me. This is my brain. I think I'm going to turn it. She said, uh, turn it the way you want it so that the majority of the stitching is at the bottom. So most of the bottom will be covered. Uh, and then you'll get more of the top. So I'm going to leave it so that you can see the purple because I love purple obviously hello <laughs> no I'm just kidding this is gorgeous fabric so under the sea fabrics.com custom dyed for this project I believe that most of the pieces are dyed in this kind of way where there's purple in one corner let's see what else we got Ooh. oh yes okay so this is part of the thread pack specialty threads you see and there's three different colors there is teal there's gold and then there's like a lighter gold it's kind of like a Christmas gold I don't know what how would you say that white gold I'm not sure and then in here Leslie thank you for the great packing job holy cow so this is the bead pack Oh, look, I got a dinosaur. Okay, so in each and every one of these bead packs, she got felt animals, and they were all different kinds of animals. I am so happy that I got a dinosaur, you guys. And look, these are pearls. These right here, pearls. So cool. Oh, no, wait, I think that's the pearl. Anyway, gasp. <laughs> so if you're joining us on the Stitch Along, that's what the bead pack looks like. Amazing. And I have all of my flosses as well, but I'll show you that on Saturday. You'll probably see this on Saturday as well, but you'll see floss tube first, hopefully, if the algorithm works properly. So those are for the under the seas, which you're going to see a lot of because, yeah, <laughs> it's a 12 month stitch long. I know, what have I gotten myself into? No more stitch alongs, guys. No more stitch alongs. Nope, not gonna do it. Not anymore. <laughs> All right, what's this one? Color Street, yay! Okay, have a look at this. This is not stitchy related, but, oh look. So these are all from Amy. Amy is my stylist. I buy my color street from her. Oh, they're so cute. Ooh, yes. Thank you. So this is made in Milan, which is like the darkest dark bl red, brown, black that there is. This one. Oh, that's so cute. Do you see the little owl? That's adorable. This one is called, it's a hoot. That one matches my Sal. 
This is long time no see. <laughs> We've got this one, which is one of my favorites, which is Mardi Gras. This one, that's beautiful. I like that color a lot. That one is Chilla, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. <laughs> cool. And this one, that's pretty. That is Sakura Festival. Oh, I'm so lucky. Thank you so much. That's amazing. And these, look at this. Every every month she sends me what's known as her gidge box. So she sends me two random nail designs and a card. I won't share the cards, but Amy, thank you so much. I will read these to myself because I really enjoy them. She watches my floss tube. I watch her floss tube. She's Creativity by Gitch. Amy Taylor on Color Street if you're interested. Uh, go check her out. So that's the Color Street. I'm trying to keep things tidy, <laughs> which is not like me. And then, okay, Garon Toten Bags. This is my first ever Garon Toten Bag. I'm gonna open one of them because one isn't for me. One will be mine. <laughs> so, uh, I believe it was last month. Oh, that's so cute. For Ronnie's birthday over, you know, the sun, Sunshine Stitchers, Gary, uh, his partner, Ronnie, they do Garon Toten Bags together. And so for, was it the month of August, they raised money for St. Jude like they always do for Ronnie's birthday. And this was a purchase that you could make to donate to St. Jude. And he made the bags free. We just paid to St. Jude. So that was incredible. Now we, well, Jesse did it for us, but now I have a Garon Toten bag. Yay. I'm so excited. I'm going to have to use it to get something up. Thank you so much. And this one is for Heiko. So I'll put that to the side. Next is <gasps> Okay, now we're getting into the project bags. <laughs> I am not going to even be careful. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Heika influenced No, not Heika. Jessie influenced this purchase because she opened the exact same one on her channel. Look at it. This is from the 805 Stitcher. <laughs> They're so cute. There's a little zipper pull here, a heart. The inside fabric is so cute. There's a little thank you card and look at this. Oops. There's her, oh, that magnet is very, very hard. Uh, this is the details for the 805 Stitcher. She has a floss tube and she has a shop right there. Go check her out. Um, let's see. Hi, Rachel. Thank you so much for purchasing my bag. I hope you enjoyed this matching needle minder. Look at it. It's so cute. So cute. Okay. And it's made of the fabric from the bag. Uh, <laughs> Thank you again for mentioning me on your floss tube. Oh, it gave me a big boost. Maybe too big. <laughs> oh, uh, I still love watching your unboxing of DP videos, although I only shop at DAC now. Once I worked on one of theirs, there was no going back. Oh, you're so sweet, Tara. Thank you so much. Take care, stay healthy, and stay safe. Thank you so much. I love this bag so much. I can't wait. So I've got a few Halloween-esque uh, floss tubey stuff projects that I want to do and I cannot wait to use this for one of them I love the bag thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you it's so super cute just look at them <laughs> they kind of look scared and horrified and confused at the same time I love it I love it so much I love it love it, love it. okay I'm gonna put that away and then I'm gonna put this where I put all of my cards. Thank you so much. Yay. Go check her out. Please, 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 please. Okay, deep breath. Are you ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for this. This is, the, well, there's two. This is the Lindy Stitches Blue Footed Booby Pattern. Yeah. It's, yeah. 
So I have two of them here. Can you see? Uh, one of them is for Heika and one of them is for me. <laughs> Uh, I saw it and I immediately had to buy it for us because, well, I mean, we're practically like the same person, but, um, I'll show you what's inside. So the 805 stitcher made the bag. So you can see it's like so perfect. Look, look at how well those birds are lined up on the fabric, right? And the lining fabric is so cool. It's like someone took an ink pen and just drew lines. I used to do stuff like that in class all the time because I get really bored in high school. <laughs> Look at them dancing. Isn't that adorable? I love this guy. He's like, what? <laughs> so cute. Okay. Anyway, so with this bag came a booby card with all the different types of boobies. There's a red foot of booby, and a Peruvian booby, an Abbott's booby. They look the same, right? A Nazca booby, blue footed booby, a brown booby, and a mast booby. That looks like a swan booby. I'm going to call it the swan booby. Okay, so it comes with that booby, booby card. It comes with a pattern, which I can't show you, but I believe it's called Beach Dance, right? Let me check. Yes. Okay, I can show you the back. Beach Dance, 93 by 81 stitches. It is, ooh, so let's see. Overdye flosses are used. You can use DMC equivalents, but they sent all of the overdyes here. Oh my gosh. So there's Weeks Dye Works and Color and Cotton. No, Classic Color Works. Why do I always say Color and Cotton? <laughs> I don't think I even have a Color and Cotton. Wow, look at them together. I'm trying to get them to lay right. Will you please lay right so I can show the peoples? So pretty. This brown one is called chestnut and it has very, very light variegation in it. Not very much at all. This is boysenberry, which is beautiful. It's like a wine color. And the last week's is called chickpea. It does kind of look like chickpeas and it has a high variegation. And then sugar plum, which is one of my favorites. I had this in my frosted pumpkin stitchery last year. I love that lavender, so pretty. So we've got the chart, we've got the floss, the overdye flosses, and then we have the finishing trim by Lady Dot Creates. So that's amazing. We have lace, we have pom poms, and we have finishing pins. So I think you can see the pins are these little gold buttons. And let's see, where does it go again? Oh, so the pins go on the inside. So if you want to make the um, needle holder, uh, what do you call this again? I don't remember, <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's a needle book actually. Um, so you can use the, the lace on the inside and the pom-poms on the outside. So neat. And you can always make it the way that you want, you know, you don't have to do it exactly the way they did it, but it is super duper cute. I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be so adorable. So thank you so much to Lindy Stitches for coming out with such an amazing pattern uh, to 805 Stitcher and to Lady Dot Creates for the amazing extra mole. I cannot wait to do it myself in my booby bag. Yee! Thank you so much. And then I'm going to keep our piles separate. I might have to take a break, y'all. Charts. <laughs> Should I just show these on the floss tube? You know what? I'm going to show those on the floss tube because they are easy to share. Whereas fabrics like this are not easy to share. Fortnite, more misty. Ooh, what's that? Oh my goodness, you guys. You're gonna, okay, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> oh yeah, 
And that is it. Okay, let me move the box. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh, don't let my husband see this. <laughs> Not that he's in charge of my finances or anything, but still. Okay, that's all fabric. This is not stitching related, but since it was in the bag, I will go ahead and show you. One of my favorite bands of all time, well, in my adulthood, has been Tegan and Sarah. They are a Canadian band of two sisters, and I've seen them live, and I've missed them. I miss their shows, um, and so I saw, ooh, cool. Ooh, did that come with it? What's this? Oh, this is another thing. Okay, I don't I don't understand the seeds, but okay. So then I saw this on their site and it's like a this is the site. It's like a it's like a shirt hoodie. Oh, the flower, the seeds came from this. Okay. So this is like a long sleeve shirt, but it has a hood to it. So it's not as heavy as a hoodie. I really like it. I hope it fits. It says, where does the good grow? Which was one of my favorite um, songs. I get the, I get the album stuck in my head sometimes because I used to listen to them on repeat over and over and over. I love Tegan and Sarah. They're amazing. So anyway, um, this popped up on their Facebook that they were having a sale and I had to have it. So I might have to wear this later. <laughs> Actually, I might have to wait until my dog stops shedding because she just sheds like crazy. So, um, yeah, nice and light, you know, around the house kind of, kind of hoodie. I am super excited about that. I have wildflowers that they sent, which I hope will be fine. I will, I will go check. I think that all of those are fine in here. So that's cute. I might use that next year. And I'm going to save this for my diamond painting video because, or my, you will have seen this already by the time you see this video. <laughs> so enough said. Um, it's diamond painting related, so I don't want to put it in here. Tease. Well, te um, if you'd like to go see it, go check out my um, Thankful Thursday video. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, okay. These are from mm, different places. <laughs> I was going to say just misty, but it turns out that, oh, what's that? <gasps> Candy. Ooh, are these all the candies that people have sent me? Plum candy. Whoa. Oh, that must be from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Yum. Uh, oh, it's got one of those um, Amaboshi. Hold on, what is it called? It won't say. It's a Taiwanese candy. Amaboshi. It's a really, really salty plum. They're really strong. I've got a Fireball and a Brock's candy. And some Skittles that'll be consumed momentarily. Um, and then Misty was selling these for Pride Month, and th this is like an Ink Circles Zappy Dot needle minder. And I just love, I love mosaics and you know that kind of stuff. Sorry, my nails are destroyed. Um, gorgeous. And sorry, that was probably loud for you. Um, that that's where I keep all of my needle minders. You guys is on my filming arm. And then I've got this Midnight Way. Oh, I can't wait to put this on my project right now. Um, this is a wood etched or wood burnt laser cut uh, needle minder from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, especially for the stitch along. So cute. So cute. I'm actually on the part where I'm stitching the ravens right now. Adorable. So you can check them out. Oh. A needle runs through it. Etsy.com. Very cool. Made exclusively for the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Excellent. A needle runs through it. That's a that's a very clever name for your shop. Okay, let's move to the ones that we can see. Let's put them into order. Misty. 
Misty, Misty, Be Stitch Me, Be Stitch Me. Okay, so we'll start with Misty first. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry if this is a bit too much for you, but this is three months worth, so yeah. Let's see. First we have, I have two packages of Spring Breeze. So I was doing her kind of Friday night fight night and I saw these purples and I just, I just had to have them. This is an opalescent uh, 40 count linen, 18 by 27. And look at that. I mean, it's just, I love her fabric as well because her linen is so, so, so soft. And this is another linen, but this is 36 count, which I'm not sure why I got 36 count, but hey, that's okay. I will do one over one because I do not like two over two on 36 count. I haven't tried it, but I don't like 18 count, so I'm pretty sure it's similar. This one is slightly different in color, slightly darker, more purple. This one is a bit more blue, pale. This one's a bit more lavender. They're both beautiful. They're really, really, really gorgeous. Um, yeah, I can take these out of the bag. They have tags. And these are the fabrics of the month because I joined her Fabric of the Month Club. This is called Gilded. It is a 32 count Belfast linen. And this is the size that I like the best, 18 by 27. So this is July's fabric of the month, and I think this is a gorgeous color. It's a, it's a bit bright. <coughs> Excuse me. It is really bright, um, but I think that red will look really good on it. Yeah, that's going to look amazing with red on it. So we've got Gilded, another fabric of the month was this is does it say what it doesn't say what month but I'm gonna guess it's August which is please scream inside your heart <laughs> love that oh my gosh that color is so pretty you know what would look great on this is the autumn lane stitcheries geisha that's really pretty this is how I enable myself, <laughs> by the way, if you were wondering. And then I have another, this one would have been another Friday night by, doesn't have a color name. Ooh, but I really liked it. Oh, the purple isn't all over, so that's a little sad. Uh, this side is pretty cool, but the, it's only around the edges, which is kind of sad, but hey, it's okay. Uh, this is a 28 count Lugana. Let me put it back this way. Can you see? So the purple is just on the side. Oh, that's a little disappointing. It's just there, there, and on the side. But hey, I'm sure that there's something pretty that, that I can do with it. Or I can split it into two, maybe, and do some small stuff on it. Okay, cool. So that is... My Misty haul. <laughs> Goodness. The reason I'm leaving it like this is because I'm going to have to go and iron it tomorrow. So, and catalog it. I catalog all of my fabrics in my phone. And I save them in my phone. And then I roll them up in acid free tissue paper and um, roll them up and put them into an under the bed storage box. So, this one, oh my gosh, I have been waiting for. This, oh my God. So pretty. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. This looks like the inside of a brain. Okay, that's probably not pretty to you, but it's called Hibiscus and it's a 16 count Ada. I'm pretty sure that I'm in the 16 count Ada Club for Brandy. So that is, oh, that is pretty. Oh my goodness. I love 16 count Ada. It's, it's perfect for me. Love it. And yes, I will still stitch on Ada. I'm not, I'm not, um, what's the word? I don't mind. 
This is fabric of the month as well. Okay. I'm glad that she put the stickers on the bag. I'm going to have to, um, did she put it on this one? No. I don't think she had the sticker back then. So this one, there's no name. Uh-oh. I'll have to check the Facebook group. This one is a 16 count as well. That is a beautiful green. Oh my goodness. I love her modeling. She makes it really extra. I really like it. So that's that one. I, I don't know what it's called though. Hmm. I'll have to find out. I'm not going to dwell on it anymore. This one is also fabric of the month and This one is called Lotus, also 16 count Ada. Ooh, and this one is more solid, but a beautiful, beautiful purple color. Gorgeous. I like that a lot. I love the, the lavenders. I'm thinking about, if I haven't already, purchasing a lavender from her maybe I will do lotus for my huckleberry farm from hang on the blue flower it took me a second came out in Nashville this year all right this is a Friday night fight night fabric this is a 16 count again uh, Ada and it is unnamed but OMFG. Sorry, but this one is just insane. It's like super reddish pink here, and then it's deep dark blue and purple here. <gasps> I want to live in this fabric. It's so beautiful. I don't want to put it away. Can I just frame it on the wall like this? I mean, honestly. Seriously. <laughs> Okay, and the last piece of Brandy fabric that I can show you today is a piece that I bought from her website. This is called Tree Hugger. Oh my God, it's huge. This is a half yard of 16 count, Ada. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Brandy, <laughs> I hope you're watching this video. I'm going to send this video to you. It's beautiful. It's not like you don't already know. I mean, you dyed it, but still, this is insane. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So my idea for this one was actually to see if I could get um, my Mirabilia to, Mirabilia to fit on it. Um, I have a Bella Seal. No, it's not a Mirabilia. Sorry. Let me see if I have the pattern. I'll show you. Okay, the plan for this one is to see if this will fit on it because I really think that it would really look amazing. So pretty, so pretty. 14 count, 10 by 21. What's a half a yard? Yeah, it'll fit. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to pair these together, obviously. <laughs> Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, and then the last one, last package from this box, and there will be another box coming soon. So watch out for that. I'm not going to wait three months again this time, just because of COVID and everything. So these are all fabric of the month from Fortnite Fabrics, which is married with stitches. And I don't know what order they go in. Ooh, ooh, let's start with this one because this is not fabric of the month. This is a small cuts that I won from their website or from their Facebook. They did an auction. Lugana and linen ornament cuts. Yee, ornaments. Sorry, that's me being extra. Yay! Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Okay. 
I don't know the names of them. It doesn't matter. They are also pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> These are so pretty. <laughs> Y'all. Is that liver pudding? Is that the stuffing? Grandma stuffing? Y'all. These are so pretty. They're, they're so nice. This is the first time that I've actually touched Fortnite fabric. Mmm. Smells good too. Fantastic. I'm so happy that I have these, especially since it's Halloween time and we're going to be doing little ornaments and everything. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Oh, and I love having these little bits of fabric around the house to swatch and all that sort of thing. And then what else we got? This one is 30... To count even weave. Sorry, this was my first time reading their packaging. And I went for the neutral club. So this one, let me move these actually, because I don't know if the color will come out. This is called Verdigris, Verdigris Agaric. So all of their neutrals are named after mushrooms. It's like it's like an olive green. It's really not coming up, but the darker areas are like an olive green. And then these are like a really, really light, light creamy green. That's beautiful. And I got the neutrals because I really wanted to use these for samplers. So I'm gonna have to switch to linen though, I think. But for now, I'm gonna stay with even leaf. Probably until the end of the year. And then see if they open up any linen spots. Okay, this one is called Fairy... Hmm. Fairy Ring? Ring. Yes, Fairy Ring. This is also a 32 count even weave. Which is my favorite. Ooh. And this one is slightly tinged like a tan brown color. Again, Irish weather and lighting. I'll try to show these in the floss tube, I think, the light ones. So if, if you'd like to see them in my floss tube, then please watch. The other ones I will not show. I'll just be like, go watch the haul. <laughs> but how pretty, right? So those are all the fabrics and all the everything in this box. Thank you so much, Jesse, for stuffing all of that into that box. I really appreciate it. There was nothing else in the box except the charts and the charts I will have shown you in floss too. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you haven't already to see more fun, crafty stuff from me. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a nice day, a great weekend, and I will see you all in my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye!